Today's challenge is to create a procedural brushed metal texture in Blender. With this simple shader setup, you can control the direction and size of the brush lines and even mask out unwanted surfaces. So all you need to turn this into this is to add a texture coordinate node, a vector rotate node, a vector math node, a noise texture node, a map range node, and finally, a bump node. On the vector rotate node, set the type to Euler, and on the vector math node, set the operation to multiply. The values on the vector rotate node will determine the direction of the brush lines, while the values on the vector multiply node determine the width and length of the brush lines. The map range node remaps the output of the noise texture node and allows us to decrease or increase the frequency of the brush lines. Finally, the bump node interprets the randomly generated noise as height values and converts them into normal vectors completing the setup for our brushed metal texture. Now, if you look closely, the brushed metal texture is applied to all faces of our model, but let's say you want to exclude some faces, for example, the inner surface of this barrel. To mask out a surface, we need to add a vector math node with its operation set to dot product and a math node which we duplicate twice. Set the operation of the first math node to absolute, the second one to less than, and the third one to multiply. And voila, the brush lines on the inner surface of the barrel disappear. With this in place, by changing the direction of the vector on the dot product node, we can remove the brush lines, for example, from the side surfaces of the barrel. Finally, keep in mind that if you have any curved surfaces that are partially brushed, you can either make them entirely brushed or entirely smooth by adjusting the threshold of the less than node. Now don't forget to organize this shader setup to make it easier to use in the future. And if you want to learn more about procedural textures, click here for another tutorial. As for this one, Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.